Leo Divine Fams, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my Day One Foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Now, before I jump into your reading, I just want to let you all know about a promotion I have going on right now. So from now until December 20th, when you book me for an uh, in-depth personal reading, I will throw in three programs, three programs for absolutely free. Now, these are ju not just any other regular, regular rinky-dink programs. These are programs that are very, very much needed in the times we are living in today. They are needed for life. So this is the Kabbalah program. It deals with as above, so below, as within, so without. This is understanding and remembering that you create from the inside out. So if you want peace, love, harmony, unity, all that good stuff on the outside world, you need to have that within you, right? The money program, very, very much needed now. Like money makes the world go round, let's be honest. And it would be wise for you to set yourself up for success and create your own systems of economy. So even during pandemic, after pandemic, you good, okay? And of course, last but not least, the Universal Laws Program. So this is laws of the universe. There are more laws than just the law of karma, the law of you're going to get yours. There are more. We have the law of perpetual transmutation, the law of reciprocity. I could go on. But you could always just book me for a reading and get it for free and learn them yourself. So you are responsible for your own security, stability, and happiness. So if you want these things, you need to bet on yourself and most importantly, invest in yourself. Take advantage of these tools. You are being given access to tools to help you to help yourselves. I'm very, very, very big on that. So with that being said, let us, uh, let's get it. Oh, first, before I begin, the link to book me is in the beginning of my description box. It takes you to my Etsy shop, or you can scroll down to the bottom of my description box and there is a link to my online store where I sell other transformational products and services. Like I said, I'm very big on helping others to help themselves because somebody helped me to help myself. Also, on this channel, I do twin flame and tarot readings. So if your reading does not say divine masculine, divine feminine, divine feminine, sorry, DF or DM, it is a soul mate reading. I do not want to get anybody confused. You know, I just want, this is all about clarity. It's not my intention to have people pick up the wrong messages for themselves. So just for clarification purposes, your, if you're looking for a twin flame reading, they will always say DF or DM, divine masculine or divine feminine. Okay. So with that being said, let's get into your reading. Okay. My Leo divine femmes. So to my left is what's going on with you. And to my right is what's going on with your person. We have attachment in reverse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Journey in reverse. Mm-hmm. Six of Wands. Hmm. <laughs> Divine Femmes. Divine Femmes. Two of Water. And Ten of Cups in reverse. Divine Femmes. Did you kick your person to the curb? Like, did you like fold them up in a ball and kick them to the curb? Yeah. And you are happy about it. Mm -hmm. You have detached yourself from an energy of fear and doubt. Fear that you would not be able to meet anybody that will love you the way that your person loves you. Or doubt that you'll be able to sustain yourself or be happy without your person. I'm hearing you have come into, you have ascended into a higher level of awareness, awareness of self. So you are now realizing that your person is not your happiness. You are. Your person can make you happy though, but you need to be happy with yourself or you're not going to be happy with anybody else because your person was not making you happy. Let me connect the dots for you here. So as within, so without. If you're not happy and you don't love yourself on the inside, you're going to attract people or someone like that. 
your person is a trigger for you to go in and look at these issues, inner issues that you have of lack of self-love, lack of self-value, self-respect, uh, even where the fear and the doubt comes from. You know, uh, where in my childhood or my adolescence, what experiences did I have that made me feel like I need to stay with someone who treats me like shit or who doesn't know my worth or who doesn't respect me? Or I need to keep bending over backwards for somebody who doesn't even, there's no reciprocity. I am feeling the energy of a divine feminine who has become enlightened. Mm -hmm. Because you were in the, in the past, you were not happy with your person. Things were not there. I'm not, I'm hearing on an even kilter. You, things were not even between you and your person. Mm-hmm. And you were very unhappy. There may have been a lot of arguments uh, over petty things too in your in your relationship with your person. A lot of strife, opposition. For some of you, you felt like your person would just, they would just come for you all the time. Every little thing, it was a problem. So you decided to let this go. And you decided that you, I'm feeling someone who feels like it's okay if, if we're not together. Even if it's right now, it's okay. Because you're focused now on yourself. Mm -hmm. Like you, you feel good in yourself. <laughs> you feel like you, you um, what is it? I'm hearing milestone. Like this was a big milestone for you to detach yourself from this relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was a, it was a declaration of you stating to yourself that you know your worth. Mm -hmm. Because some of you in the past, you I feel this undercurrent of fear. This energy that's under the surface of, it's like a dread for being alone. Mm -hmm. This anxiety of um, feeling rejected. And, and that's rejected in the sense of feeling like you're not good enough. Mm-hmm. So you would overcompensate. Yeah, you really, Divine Femme, you really showed up and showed out for your person and you never got that back. Mm -hmm. So for you to get to that space where you're like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm going to be good if we're not together. I'm going to be, I'll be okay. You know, for you to transmute the law of perpetual transmutation. Get the course, book me for a reading. For you to transmute that energy of fear into a, I'm feeling an, an assurance, it's like a trust. Trusting the universe, trusting that, you know what, whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen. It's gonna happen in divine timing, but right now, I need to make sure that I'm good. It took a lot of strength for you to, I'm hearing bravado courage, boldness for you to make that decision for yourself. Because it's not for a lack of love. You love your person. Walking away from your person was hard. Mm -hmm. It was hard. It hurt. It was painful. I can feel the pain in my heart. But it's being overrided by this sense of, or this energy of, I gotta love me more than I love you. Mm-hmm. If I love you unconditionally, I need to love myself unconditionally. And that is a, an example of me loving myself unconditionally is saying that I deserve better and walking away from people, even you, who don't treat me good. Who don't acknowledge me. Hmm. Okay, Devon Fam, okay. Someone's calling me right now, excuse me. So what we have going on for your person, we have journey. Crone in reverse. Five of coins in reverse. Wisdom. And seven of cups in reverse.
your person is on a journey to self-discovery as well. Because you... Your person's on a journey of growing up. Your person, ener their energy is very immature. Like they, energetically, they are not where you are. Mm -hmm. For some of you, your person may be younger than you. Like physically young younger than you. Because their energy shows up as uh, someone who doesn't know what they want. Mm -hmm. Someone who's not really sure about life. It also, it's, their energy is showing up as someone who, your person right now, they're feeling like if they could go back and change the hands of time, they would. If they could like teleport to the past of the events and situations that happened with you, that they caused, mm -hmm, that caused pain, mm -hmm, unhappiness, just that caused the loss, you know? If they could go back and change the things that, Ruin the relationship, they would. They would. Yeah. Your person, they're not in a good space right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of stress and anxiety. A lot of unhappiness, sadness. They're really, they're really not happy that you guys are not together. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling remorse. They're really remorseful. They just feel, it's a really, it's a very low vibrational shitty energy. Your person feels really, really shitty right now. Mm -hmm. They wish they could go back and change things. You know, and they're in a space right now where they are, they're learning wisdom. Right? They're starting to tap into their inner wisdom. They're starting to learn from their mistakes. That's why they wish they could go back and do things over with you start from scratch because they want they want to reconcile they want a resolution your person is going through a reality check right now yeah the universe is giving your person a, let me say that again <laughs> the universe is giving your person a reality check right now one second i just need to get some um, some juice this is my own special blend it's going to be out soon for Christmas. So this is a course on, um, I call it my digital cookbook, all about healthy living, healthy life. You know, health is wealth as well. You can't buy health, but you can make sure preventative measures. So this is my sacral shock from my sacral, blah, 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 tongue tied. This is from my sacral chakra um, series. So my chakra series, this is the solar plexus solar plexus lineup solar plexus smoothie it tastes so good tastes so good don't worry i'll share it with you guys when it's done it's almost done it's almost done so your person the universe is giving your person a really they're shaking your person up mm -hmm. and this is a part of their journey this is just their time for them to realize like what's good with them you know why do i keep doing these fucked up things or they're starting to recognize that they they do some fucked up stuff and they did some fucked up stuff to you. Mm -hmm. And they're learning from it. So it's like, oh, you know, I shouldn't have cheated. <laughs> I shouldn't have cheated. I shouldn't have dealt with them like that in the past. Mm -hmm. Because now they don't want me. Yeah, your person is, they're worried. They're stressed out in their head that the, you may not let them come back. Mm-hmm. For some of you, your person may come back begging, like begging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or start like texting you so much, it's like borderline harassment. Yeah, because they're determined to, to find a resolution. They're determined to reconcile. They want to show you that they've changed and that they've learned their lesson. Mm-hmm. And I'm feeling the energy of someone who's, they're sorry, they're sorry. But they do not, they do not like that you guys are not on speaking terms. They do not like that you guys are not together. Yeah. A lot of anxiety here up in their head. Some of them are not even sleeping. For some of you, your person is not even sleeping. All they do is think about you. Mm -hmm. Wondering what you're doing, who you're doing it with. 
for some of you, the, your person, the thought of you with someone else just crushes them. <laughs> crushes them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're using their wisdom on how to get back to you. Mm -hmm. They recognize. They recognize that they were immature in the past. And, and they want to change things. They want to change things. Mm. Okay, my divine fam, that's what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, can get a thumbs up. If it doesn't, that's okay. It may just not be your reading. Uh, click the notification button or you can always book me for a personal reading. So with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.